Mavericks squared off with the Miami Heat on Wednesday night at the American Airlines Center, and it certainly wasn't a pretty one. Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Jolie. This is D210 TV right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. Well, the Heat have now won five straight in Dallas. Tonight, taking a close one. Take a look at the final score, 93-90. The Mavs were shorthanded playing without Darren Williams along with Devin Harris. That means they had to pick it up at the end and dig deep. Chandler Parsons explains exactly what happened with his team tonight. They were just more physical. Uh, I obviously got off to a hot start there, got to the basket a couple, uh, a couple of times early, but uh, Dig was a little bit more physical and almost denied me in a way uh, in the second half, but you know, with our offense, it shouldn't matter. Just keep flowing and cutting and moving, and uh, the ball will find me. And try to force a couple of shots there just to, just to continue to stay aggressive. And, uh, just didn't, just didn't have to After Dwayne Wade missed the second of his free throws, the Mavericks had the chance to tie it up in the final 15 seconds, but head coach Rick Carlisle decided not to call timeout. He says his team in the past had been better playing free flowing. He also explains exactly what went to that decision. I thought we had time to get a, uh, either a good three or a two and still had time to either get a steal or foul. You know, so um, it didn't work out. And so, you know, it's a tough loss. After his worst shooting performance of his career, D. Wade bounced back in the second half. He had 16 points. He said Dirk started to get hot, but he understands it was key to stop the Mavericks down the stretch. And Dirk, I mean, he was Dirk tonight. He hit some unbelievable shots, you know, really came out hot in the second half. Um, but you know, we, we weathered the storm, we stayed with it. Um, I thought we did a great job. This is really tonight a game of two different halves. Dirk Nowitzki was cold in the first. In fact, he only scored eight points, but he answered with 20 in the second half. Meanwhile, Chandler Parsons had 12 points in the first quarter, but he was shut out for the rest of the game. One of the best teams in the league. We have the best defense in the league. Long and long over position. Got some playmakers, some shot makers. Uh, they move the ball well. That's why they're one of the best teams in the league. The Mavs dropped to 28 and 22 on the season and will close out into the All Star break with three key matchups starting on Friday night against the San Antonio Spurs. And they travel to the Memphis Grizzlies and then finish it out at home next week against the Utah Jazz. That's it for us. I'm Tamara Jolie. This is D210 TV right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. And you've just been credentialed.